All right, give me about five or 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you how you can run a very powerful large language model like the brand new Llama 3.1 from Meta on your local device without having to rely on being on the internet or even using a, a third party provider, right? If you can download a model locally, these open source large language models, you don't really have to worry as much about privacy or data security or anything like that. All right, let's jump into it. So if you're new here, what's going on? My name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. All right, so there's a lot of different ways that you can download and run a model locally. Uh, for this uh, quick little tutorial, we're gonna be using Olama, but two other great ones are Jan AI and LM Studio, all right? These are essentially third-party programs uh, that you can download different models from uh, Hugging Face, just different open source large language models, and then run them on your computer. They have a lot more uh, features and functionality. I'm just gonna be using Olama though. It's I think it's the simplest, um, and you actually run it just locally in Terminal, which I really love, all right? So I'm gonna show you what this means, and we're going to do it all live. All right, so you're just gonna go to olama.com and download uh, this. So uh, it's important to know, the performance is gonna be based on your computer because normally when you're using a large language model, you're using essentially the servers of an open AI or a Google or a cloud Anthropic, which they have some of the most powerful servers and compute in the world, right? Uh, running it locally, it might look a little slower, but my computer is not that great if I'm being honest. I'm on a Mac Mini M2 uh, with eight gigs of memory. So uh, I, I can't download these really, really big models, but I should be able to download the uh, Meta Llama 318B. So first I have to download Olama. So this one, it's not like it's a little tricky, uh, but it's it's actually a little tricky, but it's actually super simple. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install this now. So now you'll see I have the Olama lab, uh, app. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click that to install. It's bouncing on my other screen there, which means it's installing. Uh, I need to click open. Then I'm gonna click move to applications. All right, so now I'm gonna go into, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Olama app. Here we go. And the first thing you might notice is like, oh, it didn't work, no app came up. Uh, yeah, it did. Look at the very top. So it's now technically running, if you see that little llama guy up there. Uh, so now it's actually running. And here's the thing, and why I actually love Olama, is it just uses the Mac terminal, okay? So uh, what that means is Mac terminal, it's a built-in, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Mac Terminal. Uh, so it's just a built-in uh, kind of way to change settings and things on your computer. I used to you know, use this a lot back when I was even dorkier, but this is actually how you use uh, Old Llama, which I like. It's just using your current um, terminal. So I love it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, you can go through and you can do any model, right? Uh, so as an example, Mistral just came out. I don't think, if I'm being honest, I don't think my computer could run this. Uh, it's probably too big. Um, there are other websites that show you what uh, you know what models you can run based on your settings. I do like that uh, LM Studio and Gen AI have that built in into the software. But again, it's running a third party software. So it looks at your machine and it says, ah, you might be able to run this model, uh, but I'm pretty sure even though my computer's not great, uh, I should be able to run uh, Llama 3.1 just fine. So here's how it works. I'm gonna go to Llama 3.1. This is brand new, just came out a day ago, and you'll see it's 4.7 gigabytes. So I should be able to run that. Uh, you, you know, it's not a huge file, right? Uh, so let me go ahead now and bring terminal back up. So literally all you do, you see how I copied that? I copied this right here, right? You just click that and then it copies. And all you do, you open terminal, paste, hit enter, and that's it. So now it's going to be uh, installing uh, Llama 3.1. I did this previously um, just because something like this, I wanted to make sure my machine could run this uh, but before I did a video and it can. So normally it would take you through a little bit of a down, uh, download and install process, um, but I think we're good here. So I'm just gonna say so. All right, so now it's running, which is great. Uh, so now I, I think it's uh, show info can give you system commands, okay. Uh, so there's different things that you can do. And again, uh, 
Olama has good documentation in here. You can also look at the, uh, you can set different uh, parameters. So you can go through and read this, uh, this information on the Olama uh, website. But let's just get straight into it. So let me go back to my terminal. It keeps uh, going underneath my window here. There we go. So I'm gonna say, um, uh, in short, tell me uh, how LLMs work, how large language models work. So now you'll see I'm running Llama 3.1 and it's responding. So again, it's not going to be the fastest in the world, right? Because that's usually when you're using these models, you're using someone else's compute. But I mean, that's faster than I can read. So it should be fast enough. Here's where the real magic comes in. I'm going to turn off the internet, okay? There goes my internet. Now let's say I go to, you know, I'm gonna go to Google. Google doesn't work. Let's say I wanna learn everything about generative AI for free. Where else would you go to do that? YourEverydayAI.com. Oh, doesn't work. I don't have internet. All right, so just so you see now, I proved to you our internet is not working. And now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say uh, create a bullet point list that I can use to create a PowerPoint on how LLMs work. Keep it short and factual. All right, so now anything that you can do inside of a large language model, you can do literally live right now. I'm on a local machine. I could be on a on an airplane and you know with no Wi-Fi around, and I can literally work with a very powerful eight b eight billion parameter model. And this model is really good, right? It can do essentially anything. I'm gonna say um, code. Uh, I should have tested this, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna say code me the game. Um, Pong, uh, so I can copy and paste it and it will work. I'm not even telling it, do it in you know JavaScript, whatever. Uh, so let's see if it does it. But yeah, right away, it's starting to write uh, the Python code, just like that. So again, this isn't going to be uh, as fast as you might be using it elsewhere. Again, my computer's not super powerful. You're running this locally. So there's some uh, limitations, but now you'll see there's, there's no, uh, there's very few now privacy concerns, right? When I'm running this on my local machine, uh, there's no internet, so people are not sending anyone. So uh, I do also know the more programs I have running on my computer, uh, the slower that Olama here is gonna work because it needs to take all of my computer's resources and I have some other uh, software and programs running right now, just like my mic, my camera, my recording software, etc. So normally, like when I tested this without all this, it was much faster, so keep this in mind. Uh, the more system resources your local computer has, uh, the better and the faster that this is going to run locally. But I mean, just right here, I hope that this was extremely helpful. There we go at the end. Uh, you, you know, now I could copy and paste this and go into Replit or something and go run it. But this is extremely powerful. So yes, you can download open source models and run them, but you can also do it offline. And you can do it uh, using programs like Olama or using uh, Jan AI or LM Studio. All right, I hope this was helpful. Go to youreverydayai.com. Tell me if it was and tell me what you want to see next. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.